is going on everybody welcome back to the channel you know the deal let's jump straight into business now i wasn't gonna give you guys the pro stock but i smashed pro stock yesterday as you can see and i want to give these guys you know a couple days to figure it out for themselves try to beat me before i go in this you know hand a number one two now <clears throat> now i'm gonna give you guys a super mod as you can see in super mod i'm top four rank two three two three four right so i'm top four seven eight seven nines now unfortunately i lost this tune <laughs> i went to pro stock and then when i came back I had no clue what I was doing. I twisted the tune up. So I had to start over. <clears throat> now I am back into the low nines. All right. But the car doesn't launch. I'm gonna give you that warning. It don't, it don't do a good burnout yet. The RTs are kind of bad. It still needs a lot of work, but it does seven nines. It'll get you close. All right, so I'll show you guys the tune real quick for those of you who don't want to stick around. And yeah, we'll go through and see what we got here. See if we can get a little bit faster, maybe. Um, I don't think it matters what you pick. Like one day, like sometimes this game is sometimes this game is glitchy, right? And like one day, I was just running that the truck the whole time. Was the truck's cool, right? And I switched to this car and I started going faster. I don't know if it's a fluke. Like sometimes, like you know, you gotta reload the game because your car just stops working and stuff like that. <clears throat> I don't know, but I've been using the top line and I've been using the truck. Uh, here's what we got going on so far. This is a power glide, okay? Now this setup might work on career. If you put this on career and, and your car is fully upgraded and fully R&D, you're going to want to put your front and rear wing attack all the way to 45 on the front and rear if you're going to use this setup. And, and you're probably gonna have to lower your rear ride height. Okay, you're gonna have to lower that rear ride height to run this on career. Max downforce and lower your rear ride height or will do a huge wheelie and start flipping, all right? <clears throat> so there's a suspension and the weight. Here's the tires and gears. If you wanna pause that. And let's just go straight into a run show you what what it does here <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you some stuff before we start because you know how the announcer is he just likes to blab his loud microphone so we're going to I'm gonna show you uh, how it doesn't like to burn out okay we're gonna do a run with it just whatever temp it is and then I'm gonna show you a little trick um, it's kind of stupid but I'm gonna show you like a little trick of what I do all right when I'm trying to understand what temp to, to run the car at, right? Sorry, I have my headphones on. Let's it up here. There we go. Alright. Now, first thing, I'm, I'm going to show you one thing first. If you notice this, in career, your car goes all the way to red line. When you're sitting here and you rev all the way up, your car will, like, kind of act like it's in career. But then as soon as you move forward, it, your RPMs will change. Now, I don't remember if it did that before the patch. But I don't know, it doesn't now, you'll see. See, see how I can go to nine grand? Don't miss this one, folks. And then it instantly changes. Anyway. Did you miss us? That's right, folks. It's the start of another NHR Impeccable Trail Racing event, and we're so happy to have you here to take any action. Here's another thing, because this car is so sluggish right now, when I'm pulling up the stage, I'm just holding the brake and the gas down the entire time and I'm not letting go until like it's time to launch because the RPMs go up so slow that I can't get enough RPM to do a hard launch because you know the, the suspension and the, and the car is not tuned you know, correctly yet. You'll, you'll see what I mean. If you, if you try to like line up at like 12 inch, 
and then launch your RPMs are gonna be too low so that's all you're gonna see I just hold the braking gas down the whole time Saw what I was doing? Neutral first. Neutral first. I know it's dumb. It's dumb. Well, what do you expect? <laughs> I'm just trying to f to see what was going to happen if I have a high t temp. You know what I mean? These two drivers are no stranger to one another. Let's see what both will bring to the table. Okay. 7923. That's not too bad, right? That's not too bad. <clears throat> 7923 when we had some temp. And you saw the front lifted a little bit. The front did lift. So there you go. There's a the tune. I'll uh I'll tweak around for a minute and see if we come up with anything else. And I'll kinda talk to you about the uh, setup a little bit. I'm gonna switch to the car. All right, <clears throat> so. I'm all, now this is just something I've, I've, I've found out, all right? From messing around. This car, as well as um, the Pro Stock, it, it likes low front dampening. And it likes high front springs, okay? <clears throat> Now, when you when your springs are higher in the front it's gonna help push traction to push the ass in down in this game all right now I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you what happens let's just drop this all the way down and let's just let's just see what happens all right I'm guessing it's gonna be really slow or it's gonna spin God, I hate that announcer. <clears throat> the front just instantly dug into the ground, right? So that's why I had it up high. The reason I had it, I had it back down one, just because I was messing around with it. Now, if we if we pull the uh, spring down. To see what happens. Let's bring down the rear frequency.
lucky this weekend, race fans. You can get a chance to run into some of your favorite drivers. Association is the largest auto racing sanctioned body. There are over 35,000 licensed competitors. In the left lane, we've got our talent prepping themselves for a tough matchup. God, that guy drives me nuts. So, do y'all see what's happening? When I put it too stiff, it's, it's trying to wheelie already. So, I'm just going to roll up and see what happens. I can feel the anticipation for our next race coming up here in the commentary box, ladies and gentlemen. The engines firing up, the smell of the exhaust, the sun flipping out of the engines. It does not get better than this. So it's, it act like it has a lot of grip off the line, but once we start going, it's just spinning, spinning, spinning. So that's why, excuse me, my sciences are jacked. I did a yard yesterday, but the weeds were literally like six feet high. Now my sciences are all jacked up. Anyway, that's why I found the balance, right? I don't even remember what we had it on. Anyway, so we were starting to wheelie a little bit. Let's, um, let's, uh, let's drop this down a click. Let's see what happens. Ride height. Hopefully I put my rear spring back close to where it should be. And that's all I'm going to sit here and do. Um, I'm just going to start clicking stuff. Look for... Good stuff. Good change. In this matchup, you can see if our talent has been changed to beat their opponent. One seventy to one ninety is good temp for uh, super mod. I like to keep it like one seventy five to one eighty five. I, th I think tire temp depends on your tune. We've seen these two drivers in close competition with one another in the past. Is it going to be another race today? today? I think that was a fluke. If you're lucky this weekend, race fans, you can get a chance to run into some of your favorite drivers right down the midway. Do not be shy.
try to run that again. But <clears throat> you see what I'm doing here? You just gotta click one thing at a time. I'll do one more. Video's getting kind of long. <clears throat> see if we can come up with anything here. Let's see. Let's trip the downforce all the way up. See what happens. And we're gonna change one thing at a time. We're still getting a little bit of jumpiness on the front. So hold on. Let's just set, let's just take this down one more click. Let's see what happens. made it slower that rear spring adjustment welcome to auto club raceway at pomona arguably one of the most famous drag strips <clears throat> let me show you guys one thing real quick i appreciate you guys watching if you're still watching for this long I appreciate you. i'm just this i'm just tweaking this is just how i play the game i will do this for hours literally hours oh well, i did actually screw up our our uh Downforce that that's right there. I just I was just clicking it down and then it went started going slower, so I started clicking it back up and it's you know that's just where I got it to you know where I ran my fastest time at, at the time, which was like a seven eight something. Um let's see. Forgot what I was gonna do. <clears throat> oh I'm gonna show you guys something real quick. So I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to minus 40. I just wanna show you what happens if you start putting the weight really far towards the rear once you have your suspension dialed in. Not necessarily dialed in, but your suspension kinda of set. <clears throat> Tires on that run. run. You see that? Too much weight to the rear. Does a wheelie. It's race day here at the Fairflex, also known as Auto Club Raceway. Was showing you right there was I was able to, to control the car by changing the temperature of the tires you see when we had our tight when our temp up too high it started doing a willy so there's a lot of like hidden tuning in this game you know so like I can start tuning the car now towards a lower temp well let's say I want to I want to tune it to a higher temp obviously we were doing a wheelie right so let me show you how I would try to get that get rid of that one way you can get rid of the wheelie if you're trying to keep um, that 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 weight you want to keep that weight right I'm just gonna slam the rear let's just see what happens let's see if it maintains 
if you slam the rear and it still wheelies then you need to adjust the spring but now it's too low and so you know what's gonna happen if you soften or if you stiffen the spring up even more you know when it was max stiff what happened did the same thing if you go too low kill the miles per hour on the rear spring so you just have to remember what you did what you changed and the effects of it so I'm just gonna start normally I would just start clicking this up one at a time right just so I can see if I can find it and if, and if no matter what I do I can't get it to work I have to then, I, then I'll, I'll just I'll go up on my back up on that on that uh, weight distribution or I'll try a different temperature I mean there's all kinds of things you can do It is a lot harder to get your tire temp up with the weight like this. notice really slow on the top end I don't know about you but my heart is still pounding so anyway guys I hope this helps out sorry the video is so long I just wanted to give you guys an opportunity to kind of pick my brain a little bit see see what I do when I'm tuning and stuff like that so anyway, I appreciate you sticking around. If you're new, new to the channel, consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video. Drop a like, and I'll see you on the next one.